what up what up what up YouTube back again with another video going up against the Steelers today I think uh, a couple of videos ago I was talking about how when you're playing the game sometimes it seems like the game is against you that's what it feels like I know EA wants to call it we're putting realities in the game in terms of like quarterback and accurate throws my only bad thing about it is that sometimes it comes in the most inappropriate time it's like when the game is closed I don't need you guys interjecting yourself into the game when it's a close game let me make the mistake don't take it away from me so here's one of those games where after that first play he just ran this is all you're gonna see the rest of the game this right here is the rest of the game that's it so all right I'm like all right go ahead and run it let me show you how it works he has Brown running over to the outside on a, on a wheel route. And then the middle guy, Switzer, running a s streak up the middle. And Shushu and the, and the other guy on the, on the right side, they're running a low and a high drag. So it's hard to stop, as you can see. So basically, it's like, all right, pick your poison, basically. That's all it is. Pick your poison. So I haven't really seen that much people running, like, uh, close formations and running a wheel route from the wide receiver. So this is one of the first times I've seen this. So... I'm just, you know, that's it. That's, the, that's his entire offense right there. So I'm like, all right, I got to figure out how to stop this. So he tries to go uh, no huddle. I call a timeout, and that's the play right there. So all right, I'm going to try to stop it using quarters of here first. So I jumped the route. Jumped the drag route. Bait him into throwing it. Thought he was taking the low drag, but I jumped on the high drag. So that was the first pickoff. And luckily in this game, in my mind, I already had the mindset that I was going to run the ball this game. Because I've been playing a couple of games lately, and I realized I'm, I've been hurting myself because I've been putting the ball on the ground. So he decided to come out in this cover four and show blitz, as you can see, showing blitz. And usually when people do this, they're sending some kind of blitz or something. So it's kind of good that I'm running against it. And the bad thing about it, it's vulnerable to the run, as you can see. Because all the guys are on the line. If I'm running up the middle, all my guys just engage everybody in front of them. And I just have to find the hole. So this is the wrong defense to play against the run, especially when you're running up the gut, like a dive play like this. They're in trouble, you know, just run up the middle. If you see it, just run up the middle. Because all my guys just engage all their guys, and then I just got to just don't hit the sprint button until you get on the other side. So I'm just going to keep hitting with this. I'm going to the left side. But this time it has to come with uh, mid blitz, I believe. Yeah, mid blitz. All right, third and four. Hit him with the pass play. This is mid blitz, so I'm chasing after my running back. Hit the slant up the middle. All right, I'm going to go back to the run play again. Well, right here, let me see. I was going to hit him with this play, but I didn't like the way my guys are lining on the field, so I'm going to switch back to a run play. Switch to the run and run over to the right. I wish my blocker was going over to the right. It would be nice, but my shot clock is running down, so I guess this would be a good time to set up audibles, huh? Yeah, set up for audibles. I just play whatever audibles. I'm telling you, man, I just play as simple as can be. You guys think I'll be playing. <laughs> I play as simple as that. Look at this. Mr. Line on the right side. Oh, take this. Take this to the house. And he did that most of the game because what he doesn't realize, every time you show blitz, your guys are misaligned. You have to realign your guys. You can, like, manually move your, your corners to the wide receivers. So I'm going to hit him with this play right here. Fake. And I got off of him tripping. So I get in the end zone. All right, seven zip. I already know what I'm getting on, on his offense. He's just going to run that same play over and over and over again. And I don't know where he got it from. I mean, it's a good play. Well, you should mix it with other with other plays. That way, there should be a running back play because he never sent his running back out. So, you see, I ignored the, the right side of the field. No, he's not going to run his running back out. He's blocking him with him. So, give me those. And knock it down. And this is stuff I'm realizing. He blocks his running back on this. And I'm not even sending any blitz, which is the crazy part. I'm not even sending any blitz. I'm just trying to cover this stuff. So right here, he forces down low. Ah, I missed the tackle. Let's see if we get a first down. Hold time out real quick. I don't like the way that's playing. All right, come out here in uh, cover two invert and send blitz. Let's see how this one works. Just anything at this point. Put some throw underneath. All right, that's cool. I'll take that. I just don't want want him hitting that until the Brown play. That's the big. That's the big money maker. That and and Shushu Smith's coming over across on a deep drag. Those are his money makers. So right here, I'm gonna bait him. 
jumping underneath. Give me those. Uh huh. So that's twice now I picked them off. Like I'm watching everything, my friend. I'm watching it. Miss a line over here on the on the left side. Take this take this on top then. Every time I just cancel the play and I know where I'm going. Every time he miss a line, so I already know where I'm going. So we beat him on top again. And I'm going to show you, like, this play that I run in the red zone, is running uh, cover three right here. Although he did switch to cover two. This is why you got to make reads. Yeah, usually I go to, to white, but I should be looking at his user. His user drifted too far to the right on this play. He didn't chase the tight end like he's supposed to. So he drifted over to the right. I should have waited for box to come all the way across. He was going to be the open guy. And I did a bullet pass over to white. Dumb, dumb play. Dumb play. See, white was going to, I mean, uh, Robinson was going to be the open guy in the middle. So this is the reason why you have to read plays. You have to read and see what his user is doing. And I had the time. I just I should have just waited. So I messed that one up. That was me. That was on me. I was so pissed because I like, oh, I got to deal with this crap now. So now he knows now. So he just waits a little bit longer and then does his upfield. And then, you know, one freaking missed tackle. And then all of a sudden he's onto the house. On some, oh, God, I was so mad. I'm like, this is, all, this is all you got, really? Like, this is all you got, and you score off a lucky touchdown, really. <sighs> I was so heated. I was like, come on, man. So I can't use that play anymore because he already knows about it now. And I'm vulnerable on the left side if I'm only sending, like, two guys out there. Miss aligned again. <clears throat> wow. He's going to learn today. Uh-huh. He's going to learn today. You want to show blitz, you better make sure all your guys are aligned correctly. And that's the reason why I came out in five wide, is to throw him off. And he's still doing it again here on the left side. All right, Robinson, take us to the house. It's easy. This stuff is too easy. You keep doing this every time, and he, I don't think he realizes it yet. He's going to realize it later, that, you know, you can't keep showing blitz and doing that. And don't expect the top to be open. Because I know he wants to send a blitz, which, which is what he's trying to do. And you see how it works for him out later. I'm still playing this cover two invert. I need to switch out of this, because it's not. No, no, this is just cover three. All right, here we go. Forced on top. This time, give me those. What I did was play claw flats on the outside, and just like you can take the underneath drag. That's where I really, really was. What I was giving up. See now, you see how he's starting to realize it now. Now he's backing off. You know, like how many times you're gonna you gonna get beat before you start realizing that stuff's not gonna work. Like, I don't know how many times you're gonna get beat before you realize that hey, then you got to stop doing that. So I'm trying to move up here, see if I can score again. Comes from the mid blitz. Dump it underneath. Tackle, third inches. Go oh, third and one. Look at that, miss a line again on the right side. Mm -mm -mm. 18, 18. Keep showing blitz. Now you don't understand why this is happening. That's that's why I was. I mean, I was playing. I was kind of laughing. I was like, this guy right here. Like, he doesn't even know why <laughs> that's happening. It doesn't matter. You gotta align your guys in front of him. Cause he, my guy's running straight up, and you guys, your guy got to drop back and then chase me. Like, there's no way he's gonna recover. 18, 18. So. And this right here, this is this is what he was trying to send all game, and he got through it this time. I made a mistake here, another bad read. I should just hit triangle because he missed him right there, triangle. But because I was moving to the right, I didn't want to throw it because I know I'll do overthrow. With Trubisky, I got to be standing still, to give an accurate pass. So that's what he's trying to send. And then right here, I should have kicked my field goal, but I figured let me try the end zone box. Probably would be my receiver here. But watch the line, watch 70 on the line. Watch what happens on this side. Like I'm saying, when the, when the gods on your side, there's nothing you can do. I mean, sometimes this stuff happens. I know it happens in real life, but come on, this is a this is critical right here. Look at this, no block, two guys. You know what I mean? Like, man, I'm talking about getting mad in this game. It's like the game is close. You understand the BS your opponent is doing, and I can't get away from them because of stuff like that in the game. You know, it's, it's like stuff just keeps your opponent in the game, and it's like. I mean, it's like for uh, uh, somebody playing, it's like, well, you're allowed to think. You got to think like, dude, he's being kept in the game, it feels like. Because it's not like he's doing anything to stop me. It's just the game is freaking preventing me from dude, just taking over. So, all right, it's so whatever. All right, we're going to keep playing. He's going to keep running the, the same defense again. Still keep showing blitz. And playing uh, mid blitz all day. See, nice, not nice. I'm lining correctly. I'm not going to just run the ball. Cause I don't allow. Look at the way his line set up. Look how spread open it is. I'm just gonna run it. He overcommits. I run to the opposite side, and that's the only reason why I run it there. I think that was some type of like 
yeah. Three two five or three three five type of defense. It's too spread out on the line. All right, so I gotta run the ball. Switch all, all the way, run the ball again. They're too spread out. They're just they're, the line is too, his line is too spread out to stop me from running the ball. If I try to throw against that, I'm gonna I'll be in trouble. Usually that's what I do. When I start, when I first snap the ball, I check the alignment of the receivers. If I see you don't miss a line, I'm going deep. I don't even play. I don't even try to read anything. I know I'm throwing a bomb. I don't even waste any time. And here, here it goes again. Second and ten. Got him in the right defense. Right play call. And then we get this. Like you know what I mean? Like ugh. I'm trying to end the game here. I'm trying to end this for this guy. Oh, well, third down, I forgot to send my guy on flats, you know, so I wasn't able to, so he has, he has double team on top. That's what the flat does, it holds him down, I didn't send him out on the flats. So I'm just going to just, I'm just going to chuck it up. See if I get a first down. Yeah, I don't mind this interception, because it's almost like a punt anyways. So he can take the ball over there, that's fine. But you, that second down though, I mean, that's the first down. These are things that you, that you miss when you're playing somebody, you don't, like, those are little things. Those stuff count, because I basically just showed him that play. If I had a first down, you know, that would have, you know, really would have hit him hard. I, I, I would have ran something else. Now I got to go come figure another play to run on third down. And, you know, it didn't work out. Just little things like that. Just say, now he's still in the game because of that crap. So he's still running this stuff. It's all good. Whatever. Keep running it. What I was trying to do was send a flat and a cloud. That's what I'm doing right there with... Uh, Callahan. So I'm going to try to play myself. This time. See, I put him on the flat. I put uh, Floyd on the flat. And I'm going to cover the, the cloud myself. Because he's not doing it correctly. Stay right here. Wait. See, now we got him stuck. And that's what I wanted to do. But the cloud it wasn't playing it by himself. He would like drop maybe 10, 15 yards and stop. And then Antonio Brown just keeps running. I want him to just carry all the way up and pass over to the safety. I'm doing it again here. Actually, was it second? Yeah, I'm doing it again. I'm just going to carry it myself. And I'm going to try to play both underneath myself, like right here. I'm trying to gauge, pass one to the safety and still underneath. He's going to throw it to the deep drag, and then he's out of bounds. I now it's third down, I'm going to hit him with a blitz. Because I'm going to blitz all games. I'm going to hit him with this blitz. It's going to be a surprise. So I, he's not going to see me out there anymore. I'm going to pick the safety over here, and I'm going to take the deep drag. That's coming across. Um, I mean, uh, the small drag. Yeah, I'm going to take him. And then this is going to be a blitz. It's going to be a surprise. See what I mean? Because he's waiting for that stuff to go deep, but then that's just, I switched my, my coverage on him. Now it's 4th and 19. You guys already know I'm coming with heaters. Here I'm trying to switch over to like my fastest uh, cornerback to play on uh, Juju Smith. And then I, like I said, I just got to worry about the middle. I'm not worried about the small drag anymore. I just got to take. Ju I just got to double team Juju. Coming across. There we go. Alright. So there's really nobody open. I played it perfectly. He throws it up there. We knock it down, and Madden Gods arrive again. <laughs> it's like, I'm not only playing my opponent, I'm playing a computer. It's like, come on, man. You guys aren't even freaking, man, this is ridiculous. Like, the stuff you got to overcome to play. I'm overcoming a lot right now. Overthrows. Oh, boy. If, you, if it was a regular game, like you're watching on TV, yeah, that would be interesting. That would be, like, a wild moment. Like, did you see what just happened in that, in that game against... The Bears and and Steelers. Well, if I'm if I'm playing you as like as a competitor, I'm pissed, man. Come on. I'm doing everything in my power to stop the guy, and stuff like that happens. And this right here, another thing that pissed me. I had him in the backfield. All right, man. Come on, man. We gotta play goal line D now. We gotta stop this. So I know he's running the ball. Oh no, I think it's that play. This is the first play he called to Connor. He runs it this time, and we stop him again. Still carrying to the one yard line, so I'm gonna come out of my goal line stopper because I know he's gonna quarterback sneak. I knew that. I don't want one yard line. That's why almost everybody calls. Uh -uh, I don't think so. Get back! Get back! There was no uh, hurry up. I'm not. I'm not wrong. Wrong committing because he could pass. I'm just letting the play play as normal. Uh uh. Get yourself backwards. So we got fourth and goal. What I'm doing here, I'm putting. The guy on the yellow zone, yellow zone, and yellow zone for Trevathan. And then that's it. That's doing the Get that out of here. So we turn him over on downs. Jeez. That's a whole lot to overcome, man. All right. Two minutes left. You see, this score is it's, it's a lot closer than it's really supposed to be. It's supposed to really be like 21, 28 to 7. Like, I should be blowing this guy out. But stuff keeps happening, man. All right. Let's go. 
I already know what defense he's in. He's in that cover three. He's blitzing his center middle linebacker. So we we'll just take what we can take. Make it a, a sh manageable for third down. He goes again. Madden gods. Like I'm not already just like like stuff is already stacked up against me already. Here we go again. Right defense, right offense. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm not punting back to this guy. No. That's how you can do that stuff again. We're gonna run exact same play to the opposite side. This this gotta work. Let's go. He goes. He's gonna drop down to take my running back. And then finally I get a good throw. And I like position catch and keep that ball, please. That's a dagger right there, right in his back. Let's get back to the running game. And that's one time I left. Nothing you can do, my friend. There's nothing you can do. Still need to throw. But man, I mean, like, how much stuff he got to overcome? And this happens day in, day out, especially on close games. Like, just let me and my opponent, like, battle, battle it out. We don't need your help. And he don't need your help. And let us battle it out. Like, I'm not getting those breaks. That's the stuff that pisses me off. Like, I'm not getting those breaks. If I get a pick, I had two picks in this game. Both picks, I, I'm going to go get it myself. You know, he's getting tip passes. You know what I mean? Like, everything's going this way. And this stuff annoys me. And it's like, I know I, I mentioned it before, but it's, it's better when you actually see it in the game. Like, you know, that's why I, I want to show the games. All right, guys, man. This one's coming to an end. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! Hit the comment section if you got any questions. And until next time, fellas, I'll holler at you dudes later. All right, there. One.